Welcome to the third episode of the review show that I'm doing, which is totally not an excuse to just watch all of Steven Universe again. Last time we did Laser Light Cannon, now we do Cheeseburger Backpack. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be an episode. It's gonna be an episode. So for what I like, it's a season 1A episode, it gets what we're gonna talk about again. Yeah, that's right world building. It's actually deceptively good at it too. Pearl actually hints towards the fact that gems are world conquerors. Think about it. She talks about there's a there's a strange building in the middle of the water. She talks about how gems were there previously and she shows with her hologram she shows screenshots of gems standing around in that area. It hints towards the fact that they're aliens. Maybe not so much that they're world conquerors. But you can kind of imply that with the fact that they they built a, a structure on a foreign planet. That at the very least, they're colonizing, if not destroying the planet. And it's really easy to miss. I missed it the first time, for sure. Actually, when I, when I stopped watching, I was like, man, the world building in that one's not nearly as good. But then I thought about it some more. I'm like, oh, yeah. She, they're hinting towards a pretty major plot point in the show. And obviously, obviously, the test as well, with, they go back to the sea spire because Steven destroyed it. Or they, they don't go back to it, I mean, by go back to it, I mean they talked about it. They obviously don't physically go back to it because it's under the water. But, it's season one episode, so like I said before, it's good at world building. Maybe a little better than Laser Light Cannon. Not as good as Gem Glow, in my opinion. But it's definitely very good at it. So, yep. Another thing I like about Cheeseburger Backpack is it's decently funny. It's not hilarious, but it's pretty funny. The Mr. Queasy joke that gets played throughout the episode is pretty good. And some of the character interactions are kind of funny. With with Amethyst calling Stephen a shrimp. Or, um... It, that, that feels very sisterly, like she's actually his sister. That's something like they, uh, siblings might say to each other. It's pretty funny. And actually... Yeah, it's pretty funny. I mean, I don't have much else for this one. It's funny. Comedy's subjective. Some people might find it really funny, some people might not. I thought it was decent. And for the final thing I liked in Cheeseburger Backpack, Steven really does feel like a kid. Now, he did in the other ones that I never talked about it there, but I feel like I should hear. He, he definitely feels like he should, like the writing a kid character. He, he He's very... He's very much how you expect a kid to act in those situations. Not taking it super serious, kind of messing around, not totally understanding the danger that he's in. It's, it's pretty good. I definitely do like it a lot. And now, for what I don't like. Stephen really feels like a kid. I know that sounds weird because I just talked about how I liked it, but... Man, he really feels like a kid in this one. It actually gets kind of annoying. I, I've seen people complain in the past that season 1A, Steven is annoying. And I never, for the first toy, it didn't, I didn't feel that way. He's, he's pretty annoying in this one. He's not taking it serious. And I get why in Laser Light Can. In Laser Light Can, he actually does take it serious. And in Gem Glow, I get why he doesn't. But in Cheeseburger Backpack, it just starts to come off as irritating and. It's not, it's honestly not bad writing as opposed to just that's who he is right now. But man, he is annoying in this one, in my opinion. Yeah. Now for the final thing I don't like. Everyone just looks weird again. I don't like to double up on complaints. Not really even complaints, just things I don't like. But he just, everyone looks weird again. And I don't know what it is. It's just... It feels like they're still trying to capture that style of what Steven Universe is supposed to look like. And I don't want to make it sound like I think that's it's bad. It's just weird again. And I don't like it very much. Like there's that one shot where Steven has his eyes closed but and his eyelids are a different color than the rest of his face. And it really stands out and it's, it's weird in my opinion. Really weird. And there's another shot that Man, he looks like a balding middle-aged man, and it just looks weird. And too many birthdays hasn't happened yet, so he hasn't 
gone through that whole aging process thing yet. So I don't know why he looks like a balding middle aged man in this one. It's just, it's weird. And I, I'm not a huge fan of it, in my personal opinion. It's just really weird looking. It's just weird. And now for the final verdict. It's okay. It's not, it's, of the three I've reviewed so far, it's probably my least favorite. The writing, the writing is actually, in my opinion, better than Laser Light Cannon. But because I don't like the visuals as much, it feels like it just gets ranked a little bit lower than that one. Again, none of the three I've watched so far I consider bad. They're all good in their own right. Obviously, I consider Jumbo to be way better than I thought it was. Laser Light Cannon is about what I thought it was, and this one is too. Again, great at world building, but just looks really weird. Just, there's, it's kind of like, again, like I talked before, a lot of shows I like early on look weird because they're still trying to capture that style or figure out, figure everything out what they want to do with the show. So again, it's not really, I'm not saying they suck because they, their, their early season one episodes look weird, but it's just, Unfortunately, that's what happens when you start a show, that the early episodes can sometimes come off as being very different from the rest of the series, and these definitely do. So, like I said before, not bad, not my favorite. Decent, good world building, kind of looks weird. Don't want to sound like I'm complaining. That's pretty much it. That's the entire review done in like two seconds. Well, with that being said, I'll see you guys next time for... I don't remember which one's next, but I'll find out.